I know we're a little overbooked today. Sanaya Sturm, a cancer nurse in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, has spent more than three years in housing limbo. How many offers have you put in total? About a dozen. And how many of those have you gotten? None. As remote workers and second home buyers flocked to resort communities since the start of the pandemic, realtors here say home prices have nearly doubled, averaging $1.8 million for a typical three bedroom house. You can't afford a house here. Yeah, we'd have two great incomes, um, good jobs, very happy in our careers. Um, I think we're well compensated, mm -hmm. but you, you just can't. City officials say they are at a housing breaking point where everyone from hourly workers to high paid professionals are struggling to afford a place to live. Finding a solution, though, is dividing residents of this small town. We are building a slum. It sounds great, but we're putting all the poor people on one side of town. If we want a diverse, functional city where the people who work here can live here, we need to take action on affordable housing now. Emotions ran high at a city council meeting debating a proposal to build more than 2,000 apartments and single family homes on a ranch bought by the city's housing authority. The homes would be prioritized for local workers with restrictions on rent and sale prices. Who do you envision living there? Essentially every spectrum of our workforce. Jason Peasley heads the local housing authority. He says there's a lot more on the line than just affordability. I think we'll continue to see a hollowing out of our middle class and the housing problem will continue to exacerbate our, the employment problems that we have, where businesses are restrained in their growth, unable to attract and retain employees, uh, and, and we'll see our economy stall out. But longtime residents like Jim Engelken say the proposed solution would create problems of its own. It's an overreach. It is way beyond the scale of what this town at 13,000 people can absorb. We've got one road into town, one road out of town. You feel like it's just too big? It's just too big. The majority of voters in Steamboat Springs appear to agree. This week, early results showing them voting down the project, leaving those caught in the middle still searching for a place to call home. Shannon Pettypiece, NBC News, Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.